Okay, so now that we have created a way for people to sign up to our email list um, by using either a registration form or a landing page, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna have an automated welcome email or welcome email series that will be triggered immediately when somebody signs up to our email list. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you right now. So go to the top left here and click on campaigns. Then go to the top right and click on create and then choose email automation. Here is where we have a couple of different options. Now the automated series is um, something you want to use when you you want to not only want to have one email, you want to have a multiple, you want to have an email series. So let's say somebody signs up, downloads my YouTube optimization checklist, and then I have like seven emails already set up to kind of welcome them to my email newsletter and maybe also promote something to them within this automated series. Um, then we have um, the welcome email template, the birthday and the anniversary email templates. That's really just one um, single email. So if you choose this, this is only one email that goes out once and then no other emails will follow up. And these three options are available to you if you go for the regular email plan that they have, which is the cheaper one. And if you want to make use of the automation of the automated series, you're going to have to go for the email plus plan, which is a bit more expensive. So um, just keep that in mind when you create this. Um, so if you go for the simple welcome email, a one time email, just choose welcome email templates. Um, the process is pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to go through this option right here. I'm going to actually show you how to create an automated series. Um, so but still, um, the email creation process is pretty much the same, so you can still follow along. Just make sure you choose uh, welcome email templates if you don't want to go for the more expensive plan to be able to use the, uh, the automated series. So let's go ahead and click on the automated series. Let's give that series a name. I'm going to name it welcome um, sequence. And this is for the YouTube uh, checklist lead magnet. Save. And then we have to decide on a trigger. So what trigger will um, trigger this uh, sequence? And I want to trigger this when somebody signs up to my email list. So contact joins a list and somebody uh, joins this YouTube list. So I'm going to choose the YouTube list right here. Click save on the bottom right. And this is where you see your kind of email sequence. Um, right now, it will wait four days until the first email will be sent out. And that's not what we want. We want to send it out immediately when somebody signs up. So, so we're going to click on edit right here. And then we're going to change this to send immediately. Click confirm. And now we have to create our first email. So click on create a new email right here. And get, um, con constant contact has tons of different templates. So we can go through there and find a template that works for you. Um, you can also type in something like uh, welcome and then it will kind of be filtered to only the welcome email templates. And these are all very beautifully designed. And what I usually just do is I write a simple basic email with just text, just like uh, something that I would write to a friend. So um, what I like to do is just type in um, blank and that will show us a blank template. So we can basically start from scratch. So I'm going to choose this one and that will load up our email editor right here. So on the left side, you have some different elements that you can drag in here in the canvas and um, you have some pre-made layouts that you can use. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so let's first go and give that email a name. <clears throat> so on the top here, I'm going to change the name to, let's say, um, welcome email number one. So I know that this is the first email that they will get. And um, this isn't something that your subscribers will see. This is just for you so that you can um, kind of sort your emails and know what email is which. Now, next, we're going to change this section right here, which is the from reply subject preheader section. Just click on this and then it will open up the email settings right here. So the subject line, I'm just going to change this to welcome. And then I'm going to personalize it also. So I want to say welcome, welcome Simon or whatever they have put in as their first name. So I'm going to click on personalize on the right side and then I'm going to choose a first name here. Click insert and then it will insert the first name right here. We see we need another space right there. So just insert it there. 
and then I'm going to type in something like um, here's your YouTube checklist. Make sure you don't use words like free or offer or something in your subject lines and in general basically because that will trigger the spam alert for many email providers which will um, make your email end up in the spam folder. So that's what you want to avoid. Now the pre-header is that what you will see next to the subject line before they click on the email. So you can kind of type in something here to entice them a little bit more to actually click on your email. So let's say something like download the checklist um, here, something like that. Um, then the from name, I'm just going to name it, let's say my name is Charlie. So this is from Charlie. And then you have the from address. Now, in the beginning of the tutorial, we have set up this address right here. If you haven't done that, you will only see the email address that you have used to create your account. But this is fine right here. It's my branded email address, simon at medicsmedia.com and the reply address, which is the address that the emails will go to when somebody replies to your email is this as well, which is fine for me. So that's good. Click save on the bottom right. And next thing um, is we're gonna actually create the content of the email. So again, I said I wanna create a simple text email. So I'm gonna just drag in a simple text block from the left side in to my canvas and make sure it's actually in the middle right here. And then we can change the text here. Um, the image, I'm just going to delete this real quick. And I have prepared a, kind of a welcome email that I usually use um, in my uh, welcome emails, kind of a text. I'm just going to paste it right here. And um, then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font size to 14. That's a little better uh, visible. And then I'm going to just going to change a couple of things as well. So here before I say welcome to my email newsletter, I'm just going to say, um, hey, and then again, I'm going to personalize the email by clicking on insert and then I'm going to use a greeting tag. So I'm going to say, uh, let's say, hey, and then again, the first name and then here an exclamation mark. And if they haven't given me a first name, I'm just going to say, hey, there. Um, hey, there. Okay, insert. And as you see, we don't even need the hey in the beginning. So let's delete this. Cool. Um, now, as you see, this is kind of just text. If you want, you can also drag in kind of images right here um, like this. Um, but I usually just keep my email simple. So now um, this is basically what I do. I, I welcome them to my to my newsletter and then I tell them you can easily unsubscribe at the bottom of every email. Um, then uh, I, I ask them to put my email to the contact so they will not miss my emails if they go to the spam folder. Then I ask them to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then I give them the link to the download of uh, the, the, the YouTube checklist that they have actually requested. So the way you put in your link, so let's say I want to have people sign up, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm just going to highlight it right here and then um, highlight this then go to this link icon there and then say web page and then just type in your YouTube um, YouTube channel or your Facebook or whatever you want people to follow you on. So that would be HTTPS. Let's say this is just youtube.com Maddox Media. Insert and now I'm also I'm going to make this blue because that looks more like a hyperlink just like this. So people can then click on it and then they will go to my YouTube channel. The same thing with this one right here. You just insert a link to your Dropbox folder where you have your lead magnet that you were, were uh, giving away. Um, so next thing I usually do is I just um, put kind of an image of myself at the bottom of every email um, to kind of make it a little bit more personal. Um, so I'm just going to choose this one right here. So to change the image right here, just click on it, click replace, and then you can upload any file from your computer. I'm just going to choose uh, w one of my uh, images right here, upload files. And then I'm just going to insert an image of myself. You can also insert an image of your logo uh, so that you have that at the bottom of your emails. I'm also going to change this one to um, Simon Maddox Media stuff like that. You can also delete stuff if you don't want it. 
but I don't want to take too much time to actually craft the email right here. You kind of get how it works. You can just drag in all the different blocks right there and then kind of design your email like this. And as you see at the bottom, you will always have this unsubscribe link for people to be able to unsubscribe from your emails um, that's kind of uh, required by law. And also the constant contact branding right there. I don't know why they do this, but you have to contact their support to actually get rid of this. So <laughs> I contacted them and then they kind of manually um, remove this for me. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, so um, before you go ahead and finish this email, what you can do is go to the top here, click on check and preview, and then you can either preview this or you can go ahead and send a test email. This is something I like to do, so just click on send test. And um, then I just type in my own email right here. I just type in my Hotmail, my Gmail, and then I will see if this email actually goes into the primary inbox and how this email looks like in the inbox. You can also here, you can check it out how it looks like on mobile. And um, this is something I always do to kind of make sure that it looks perf that it looks good in the actual email inbox. So you can click send now and then we'll send it to you. Um, once you actually uh, have it prepared, everything looks good. You can click on continue right here. And as you see, we have now created our first email and this will go out immediately when somebody signs up and lands on our YouTube um, on our YouTube email list. Now, if you wanna continue with this series, what you can do is just click on add to series right here, and then you can uh, adjust the time. So let's say I wanna wait, let's say two days. I'm gonna edit this to two days. And then I wanna send another email. So what I'm gonna do is just create another email right here. And then you can basically um, build this out to eternity. You can do like a three months email series um, that will be automatically triggered when somebody signs up to your email list.